digital romance TV. Hey folks, how's it going? It's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance TV with more free relationship advice for you and for me. I'm going to give myself advice as well. Uh, Nora, what are we talking about today? <sighs> How to start dating again after divorce. Oh, that is hard. That is uh, Dating after divorce, the, the, the alliterative problem that we've dating heard so many times divorce. before. Well, you're divorced mm -hmm. and you no, date. No, I don't. You don't actually. date. Why don't you date after divorce, personally? Um, I'm getting comfortable to hear this. Answer. Personally. Yeah. Uh, my children take up a good deal of my life. Mm -hmm. But um, that's not the real reason. No, it's part of it. Well, okay. But I mean, what? I have a lot of good friends, and I have a, a job that I enjoy and takes up a lot of my life, and my kids take up a lot of my life, and I don't want to have a relationship. So Okay, fair enough. My so I'm not looking to date because I'm not looking for anything past dating. Um, I have sex when I need to and want to and I don't feel the need to involve somebody in my life past that point. Cool. Uh, my answer is basically um, with a sense of humor and non-seriously. Right. I yeah. think that you can't, I mean... Don't get, don't get out of a marriage and then immediately think you're going to go back out there and be looking for the one. Well, this is what, see, yeah, a lot of men do this. They, um, well, they'll, it, they'll fall into a new relationship very quickly. Because they're used to a certain, they want the routine mm -hmm. that they had before, and it's easier. Men's standards are also lower. Right. Yeah, generally speaking. Like, as far as, like, actually, what the I standards that a man holds the, his wife up to is usually lower than the standards that a Women take a lot longer to. to move on in that they usually, and this is just a generalization, I understand, but it's yep. also, it tends to be true that they tend to look and try to grow before finding the next, right? Because they want, they want to not make the same mistakes again. Whereas a guy wants to find someone that will accept him for who he is. Right. Generally speaking. Yep. Yeah. And so that's why he ends up with somebody who's younger a lot of the times, because that woman will not criticize him in the same way or will be more, quote, unquote, at least for a while. Sure. And then it falls apart because that's not actually how human beings work. Right. Um, but as far as actually doing it, the main thing to do is just to take it. I mean, I say you actually want to go on practice dates to start with. Or don't. Yeah. Date, go, and then I use this advice sure. all the time, like yeah. go find a, um, especially if you've been in a marriage where you spend a lot of time with another person and you have your own things that you want to explore, go work on hobbies that you've enjoyed in a group setting. That like, involve people. If you enjoyed photography, yeah. go join a photography club. Yep. Uh, do something that you enjoy doing in a group setting where there's men and women and you can make new friends. You can um, yep. possibly meet people of the opposite sex. Or same. have a foundation for uh, Hey, we have gay marriage now, so it could be the That's same sex. That's true. Mm -hmm. It could have been before. They just couldn't get married. Yeah. Um, uh, or create divorce. a foundation for friendship that could lead to something else. Yeah. And this and, is a lot yeah. easier and less pressure than going out with a complete stranger. Even if you have met them on a dating site, they are still a complete stranger. Or worse, being set up. Like, I, I have friends all the time now who are like, oh, I know somebody. We should set you up with so-and-so. And I'm like... He's great. Yeah, I'm not really interested. Thank you, though. Yeah. Like, this is just not something that I'm... I don't like the pressure of sitting down from, with a stranger and trying to come up with things that you have in common. It's just yeah. not... So, you breathe, you breathe air. I breathe I just, air. It's so much work, and yeah. I'm not really into that kind of work. So Cool. So anyway, I would just say the main thing is um, when you're out of a relationship and you're, and you're back out on the market again, whether you get that divorced or if it's just a serious relationship, uh, don't take it too seriously. Do not, do not make any have assumption fun. or any, don't have any desire for the first X number of people that you're going to be seeing right. to actually be the one. In sure. fact, you shouldn't be looking for the one at that point at all. No. At least for a year, probably more. Depending on what first. is it, it's like it takes you half of the original relationship to time really to over really them, get yeah. over a relationship. Yeah. So and that doesn't mean you have, to be, you, know, you have to be single for 20 years if you're married for 40 or something like that. But it just like means that, they, they don't expect then, to but. find somebody that's going to be the one. And yeah. if there is the one, whatever. And also, I would just say your attitude needs to be, even with people that, that you do date, you just kind of say, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Right. It doesn't mean you have to have sex with a lot of people or anything like that. You that don't have totally to. up to you. You can if you want to. But you might just be looking for fun and just like get back to the idea of dating as something that you were doing without a huge commitment. You know what is so fun is going out on dates that are like as if you're in junior high or high school. Yeah. You might make out a little, but it's just, that's it. It's, it's super just, hot to set no, the line right, there. Like, yeah, there's just fun. You enjoy flirting and having fun and not having to like worry about whether it's going to be serious or not. Just and really your main goal after uh, divorce for a lot of people, whether they know it or not, is just to be desired again. Yeah. 
to learn what it's like to be desired again, to learn what it's like to be appreciated again as for the person you are, and to learn to be lusted after again, because you probably haven't been for quite right. some time at that point. And you need to play with that and not make the mistake. I had a friend I was talking to the other day who was married, and then pretty much the first girl he dated after he got divorced, he got married to. Right. And now he's like, I think I would take more time next time if there was a next time. I'm like, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. So the real answer is um, do not, I'll break it down this way. Um, don't take it too seriously, at least at first. Assume that every single guy or girl you go out with is not the one and is not going to lead anywhere for at least the first year or whatever else. If something happens and it turns into a great relationship, that's totally but freaking when awesome. you're first dating, don't take one person at a time either. Just You have to be dating multiple people. You have to date there multiple go. people. Good you have to be open about that. Yep. And that makes it very casual to everybody. Yep. Like, I'm not... We're not just dating. I have other dates with other people, yes. and this is something that I'm... Now, you don't go into the details on those things, right. but you do make it known that you are also dating other people. You don't take your online dating profile down the moment you nope. meet somebody or something like that. And also, constantly remind yourself that the person that you are dating is not your ex. Right. Because that's so hard. And I wrote something called the Relationship Bill of Rights. If you go to digitalromanceinc.com, you can find it. It's a great article that I'm really happy with. I think we even have a designed version of it that Dan did for us a while ago. Um, but one of the biggest rights that I think people have is to be judged on your own merits or failings as a potential partner, not on those of the person's ex instead. And it's so hard and so easy to for somebody to get out of a relationship of a marriage and then find somebody who just has all the opposite traits right. and think, oh, you're perfect. No, they're not perfect. They're just the opposites. You're going to have the same kinds of problems. But you need to try to judge every person you date as their own person from then on, no matter how painful it is. I'm also a big fan of people who got divorced going to therapy for a while to help work through the pain of that because getting divorced, from what I've heard, is freaking horrible. So, yep. And um, if you do want to get it back out there in the world, finding somebody who can have a non-serious thing with, who can finally give you some really good sex after how long it's been without it, not a bad idea. And with that little um, piece of final advice, uh, we're going to finish up. If you have a, spe a specific question, go ahead and leave it down below. Uh, or you can go to digitalromanceinc.com. We have a bunch of articles. We have the Digital Romance Podcast. We have all sorts digital, of things. Yeah, we do. So yeah. many things. Yeah. Go so there. that's it. Bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women on The Rachel Ray Show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.